It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Dallas Cowboys and the Arizona Cardinals. And it comes your way next. We find ourselves at the home of the world's first retractable natural grass field as you get a look inside State Farm Stadium in Glendale. Today we've got an intriguing NFC matchup lined up here as it will be the Dallas Cowboys taking on the Arizona Cardinals. Brandon Gordon with Charles Davis. Uh, CD, big changes underfoot here in the desert for 2023. Most notably, new coaching staff. But I guess change seems inevitable when you come off a 4-13 and season, does it not? Absolutely. I think you're perfectly on track with that. And I think some of the change is going to be on offense where they were a little more wide open. But now, a bit more buttoned up, I would anticipate. And on defense, head coach, that's his background. I think he's going to throw a lot of different things at teams, try to keep his team in contention. Meanwhile, for the Cowboys, the wait goes on for a Super Bowl appearance. This will be the 28th season since they last won Super Bowl 30 in 1996. Let's add on to that. They haven't even been to an NFC Championship game since 1996. And you know, that does not sit well in the owner's box for the Dallas Cowboys. Continue to try to find their way back to the top of the mountain. Now the big leg of Matt Prater ready to get this one started. And off we go on EA Sports. Kevontae Turpin now to return. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. So the Cowboys ready to go on offense for the first time, and it is their now 30-year-old quarterback, Dak Prescott, who leads the way. Prescott has some things to clean up from last season, leading the NFL with 15 interceptions and only 12 games played. But we can't overlook the good. 23 touchdowns and an 8-4 record as a starter as he led the Cowboys to consecutive postseasons for the first time since 2007. Play fake. Here's Prescott. And his first pass is incomplete. And I can see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious throwaways called as penalties. Second and 10. He finds his man complete. It's Ferguson. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. That's probably as simple of a throw as he'll have all game. And good for everyone. Good for his completion percentage. Good for the receptions for the receivers. But you know how they work on that. They have footballs with no laces. So as soon as you get the snap, you're just throwing the football. All right? You're not trying to find the laces and grip it a certain way. That takes time. Just get the ball and throw it. So that's how they practice it all the time now, too. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test him early. But it proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. So out come the Cardinals now for their opening drive. They'll be led out by their six foot four QB from the University of Tennessee. It's Joshua Dobbs. And when you watch him play, everything just looks like it comes so naturally to him. When he's dialed in and finds that zone, passes are crisp, he sees the field really well, and he takes charge as the leader of this offense. Now the veteran workhorse is James Conner. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go. And sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. A 
They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. Dobbs. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. Micah Parsons with a big time sack on third down. It's a loss of seven. It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt. They're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. On first and 10, Prescott. And Cooks has it over the middle. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. From just shy of midfield, here's a second and four. Now Prescott. He finds his man complete. It's Ferguson. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. Yeah, he got a little aggressive too early. And he did, wanting that quick takeoff as the ball was snapped. But I think sometimes those big guys on offense, they're pretty cagey too, right? They make those little sudden moves or those little subtle moves that get you to jump. Prescott off play action. That's to the sideline and incomplete. And that's the knowledge you gained from being in this league for a long time. He's learned the hard way when to give up and fight another down. And that's a smart move to throw it away. Here's a second and five. Now a man who's taking the reins with the Cowboys. It's Tony Pollard. And a good-looking run there as he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18-yard line. It's a gain of 16 in the Dallas first down. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right in the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to the linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. Those are the ones you dream of as defenders. I think if he gets eyes on the ball a little bit earlier, he might come away with it. Instead, it's going to wind up as just an incomplete pass. Second down, Prescott. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. He had no options downfield there and just chucked it out of bounds. There was no one open. He was in the pocket. Where was the intentional grounding call? No, oh, you wanted the flag. Of course I did. I'm a defensive guy. You know that. Where was the flag? The officials point out that someone was in the area. He got away with one. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Touchdown, Cowboys. Brandon Cooks. An 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Cowboys get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Now they'll line up to kick the extra point. Oh 
And this is up and good to make it 7-0 Cowboys. So this drive spans seven plays, and it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, Let's see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. Let's see if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. The drive will start with Connor. There's a nice move. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. On play action, it's Dobbs. And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. Micah Parsons. Now two sacks for him already here in this first quarter of play. And they tried to go with a little play action there, but nobody on the defensive side bit. Yeah, they adjusted in time and in a big way and ultimately got the sack on offense. Sometimes you're running play action just to set up a certain blocking technique. In this case, none of it worked. Dobbs, and that will be incomplete. Every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group, they've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives. It looks like they have to give up the football again after this one. Here comes the Cardinals punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. That's taken it around the 40. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And out will come the offense as they take over. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. Prescott. And a quick throw there is incomplete. That was a nice job defensively of disguising their coverage and making it difficult for the quarterback to lock in on a receiver. And it results in an incomplete pass. Now is second and ten. Looking to throw. Prescott. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Ferguson. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One well, of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it, sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. Play action now, Prescott. And he's gonna drop this off to his fullback. So he stopped for no gain. And that'll bring up fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. On to punt now, Anger, as he boots this one away. And this will be out of bounds. Now it's a question of where they'll mark it. And they'll say it crosses at the 11-yard line. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Oh, 
They begin on the ground here with Connor. And able to find a little space, he gets us up over the 15 to the 16. Now, during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Now second and five. Off the play fake, here's Dobbs. A short one here caught by McBride. They'll get him to the ground at the 20 following a pickup of four. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll try and run for it with Connor. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. Move the chains, a gain of seven on third down. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. On first down, Dobbs to throw. This is Ertz on the pitch and catch. So the completion good for six yards, and it's second down. So the completion there, but Charles, looking at this defense, certainly in for a tough task here this afternoon. What are some of the keys for them if they want to come out on top? Well, the first thing, partner, is they just allowed a completion there. They don't want to get a string of those going. Let him get his confidence. Let him get into the rhythm of the game, the flow of the game, and all of a sudden, he's feeling like he can do no wrong. You want to really get after his timing a little bit, knock a few balls away, and make things uncomfortable for him, because if he feels relaxed, you are in for a tough afternoon. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Here's Dobbs to throw. That is caught. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. Hang on now, we're going to pause here. We've got an injured player. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. A couple of first downs have them to the 40 now on first and 10. They run behind center with Connor. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, he'll spot it right in midfield at the 50. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed. But well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. On first and 10, Dobbs. Catch is made by Marquise Brown. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. From the 41, here's second down and two. Dobbs is throwing. This will be caught once again by Brown. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them, and they run that quick cut on the slant, and oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. Dobbs looking to throw on first down. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Second down and three. Keep 
Now a handoff coming left, Connor. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. And they have just not been able to block him at all throughout this game. Seems like every other play, he's doing something in the backfield. Already got two sacks, and now here's a tackle behind the line. They need to get this to the 24 on third down. Now Dobbs. Screen pass to Connor. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. The Cardinal passing game dialed in now. First down. And this pass rush has really been bringing the heat and has already gotten home a few times here in the first half. So how about the play call there? Sometimes if you can't protect, you've got to fool them. Screen passes like that can take a little steam out of what's been a relentless rush so far. The Cardinals into the red zone for the first time. First and 10 right at the 20. Connor up the middle. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. Again, a run with Connor. He'll get four yards on the carry there, and we will get to the end of the first quarter of play. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Back in Arizona, second quarter action. It's the Cardinals in possession. The Cardinals on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and nine. going to wind up incomplete. This Cowboy defense looked ready for that third down pass. Brings up fourth. And that drive was going pretty darn well. Three previous times converted on third down, but on that one, the defense rose up and said enough of that. Prater's kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So that kick gives them their first points of the game, CD. And it comes on the third drive, but hopefully for them, that's a spark that gets that offense going. Yeah, and I would say if you're the offensive play caller, as you look at your sheet, you're trying to find that part on there that unlocks bigger points. They struggled with a few drives so far, finally got three out of it. How do you find the end zone? That's what he's searching for now. now will send it away following the made field goal. Cavante Turpin now from his end zone. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. Solid return. Pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at about the 32. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That is caught by Lamb. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. And he's got this down to the 35. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with the football? Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps him advancing the ball. 
This second and four. Now Prescott. He's got his man. It's Gallup. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the five at the six. 23 yards on the play. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taking them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up for the first and goal. Here's Prescott. And it's caught. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. Pollard. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. And now third and goal coming up, the loss on second down. That just means this crowd's going to get even louder, and they'll get a little bit of extra help from the defenders as they exhort them to join them in the effort. Pollard again. Pushing for the end zone, but he's not going to get there. They stop him just shy of the goal line. He needed three, he got two. Now that'll set up an interesting situation here on fourth and a yard. Well, let's see what they do. They're knocking on the door here in the second quarter. And you know what you look at on your play sheet? Your two-point conversion plays. Because you've drawn up a number of them in today's football. You don't just have one or two for the game. You have more like six or seven. Which one do you like here? Because that's essentially what you're going for right now. That spot of the field, call one of those and go get them. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Two first-half touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Fourth and goal. The defense needed one more stand. They couldn't get it. I just wonder if they were thinking heavy run here in that situation instead of being able to play the pass. And they were beaten on that possession. Point after, right down the middle. And that pushes the lead up to 11. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Cardinal offense now making their way back out onto the field. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three-point CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. They start with a give to Connor. Up past the 30, second down coming up. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Connor going to get it again on second down. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. It's a five-yard game, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. Third down and one. Back to throw Dobbs. Blitz coming and down he goes. 
Micah Parsons able to get in there yet again. That's already three sacks for him here in this first half of football. These sacks now, they're starting to pile up, Charles. And that front seven defensively, they've had their way with this offensive line. And I think at this stage, we have to start thinking about different play calls. We've got to start helping this quarterback out because the entire game, he's been under siege. I don't care what the down and distance, they've got to get the ball out of his hands a lot quicker. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Dak and the Cowboy offense heading back onto the field. Five for five that last drive. Touchdown pass as well. He was clicking. Receivers, I don't want to be cliche, but running really solid routes too. And what I love about it is when you look across any team, all right, the body types of the receivers are usually different. The way that they get open, different as well. Some of them use power to get open. Some of them use those head fakes and subtle moves. Some of them just use pure speed. And the really good ones, when they're established, they know how to push off at the end of a route, too. They'll get a yard, that's all, as they get him down at the 28. We've called a lot of games, but we don't normally talk about inside linebackers being that fleet of foot, do we? No, he, he was able to get outside there to make that play. Yeah, and you know what makes them faster? Their ability to read plays, understand what offenses are trying to do, and put themselves in proper position. Prescott now on second down. Over the middle, hauled in by Lamb. He's still on his feet. Touchdown, Cowboys! C.D. Lamb, 72 yards. And the Cowboys are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post wrap? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. Uh, the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? The try here for the extra point. And it's 21 to three. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays, the long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Set to return it, here's more. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. The Cardinals offense now works their way back onto the field. And this, let's face it, an important drive if they're going to get back into this ballgame. Think about going into the locker room down 21 to 10 as opposed to 21 to 3. 21 to 10, a little more optimism, a little more bounce around the locker room, a little more discussion about how they're going to finish this thing off. 21 to 3, I think discouragement clouds that locker room. Yeah, and I think a touchdown much bigger than a field goal on this drive just to get into the end zone and get that momentum. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down, and you know what offenses want? Win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. To throw is Dobbs. To the right side, and he's got more complete. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And now at this point in the first half, you've got to realize as an offense, you're not going to all get it back in one fell swoop. This is going to be about sustained drives, making sure you finish with points. And that's a good throw there for a first down. On first and 10 is Connor, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. No big surprise, Micah Parsons doing what he does so well, dropping him for a loss. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package, and that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Connor going to get it again on second down. And a good swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there.
The offense on third down, three for seven so far in this game. This is third and 11. Now Dobbs. Now they set up the screen, that's complete. And he'll get this up near midfield, but that's still a few yards shy of the first down. That'll bring up fourth down. They wind up getting eight yards, but they needed more than that. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. From a star in college to a star in the NFL, C.D. Lamb at wide receiver as he brings out this offense. He's already approaching 100 yards and has the touchdown, I'm sure. On that opposite sideline right now, they're scratching their heads saying, all right, what do we do? And the hard part is, even if you limit him to a short catch, he has that make-you-miss ability right. to take it for big yardage and put in the end zone again. So trying to blanket him is very difficult, but ultimately, you've got to find a way to put him on the ground, tackle him, and he doesn't make that easy. Well, they're struggling with that so far. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. 15 yards is the pick up there and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Here's Pollard again. And taken down just shy of the 40. The defense thought they had that play covered, but it still got driven backward by those blockers. Those types of plays are a key part of any team's offensive game plan. It all starts up front in the trenches. From the 39-yard line, here comes second down at six. Here's Prescott. Able to hit his target, Lamb. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 45-yard line. That'll put him over 100 yards receiving now here in this first half of action. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So you got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. He takes this for about six down inside the 40. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Brings up second and four. Here now, second and four. To throw is Prescott. And it's knocked away and incomplete. I think the defenders have to feel pretty good, even though the ball was tipped in the air and could have become a big play for the offense. They actually won one because the guy flinging it today, he's having quite the performance. A couple of touchdown passes, almost through his first interception, but he's throwing it so well that I think Lady Luck was on his side. Now Prescott. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. Well, they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. A really good pickup of 28 yards. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. So they get pushed back to the 11, and here's second and goal. Prescott to throw it. 
Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Let's give this defense some credit now. They let the guys get downfield, but when push came to shove, they stood their ground, and now they'll likely force a field goal attempt. A chance to really put this game out of reach. Here's third and goal. Looking to throw, Prescott. And the throw there gonna be incomplete. Back-to-back -back incompletions of what was once a nice drive, stalled out here. I'm gonna give credit to the secondary partner. Never gave up as they gave up a few yards, and they came through on that play to deny that pass and force the fourth down. And his kick is indeed good. And the lead up to three touchdowns now. It's 24 to three. So everything else has gone right in this first half. Kind of follows that it would for their kicker too as he adds three more onto the lead. Yeah, and the way that this one's gone, definitely not looking like he's gonna have to worry too much about pressure kicks late in the game. He can go out there free and easy, just work on his form, and he knocked that one through. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Well, the Cardinal offense going to take over late in this first half. I don't think they need to be reminded of the situation here. I mean, the clock is dwindling. Three-score deficit waiting for them at halftime unless they can get something on the board here before intermission. Let's go get it! Just over 30 seconds to go in the half. They've got it first and 10. Throwing here, Dobbs. And he's got the hook up to Moore. The Cardinals gonna use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. From the 31, here comes second and a yard. Here's Dobbs to throw. This is Ertz on the pitch and catch. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Dobbs. And his pass incomplete. Well, he left no doubt about that one because even though he hasn't left the pocket, he's got a receiver in the area, so it's not grounding, even though there is no way that ball was going to be caught. So line of scrimmage, still the 39 on second and 10. From the shotgun, here's Dobbs. Going up top. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Trying to get something positive to happen here before the break, and they sure need it. They went for the big one, but it winds up incomplete. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Here's Dobbs to throw. That'll be incomplete with nine seconds now showing on the clock. It's going to be another frustrating end to a drive here. This offense, they've not been able to get anything going in this first half, and now it's going to be time to gather on the sidelines and try to figure out what's going wrong. Who has an idea? Who has a plan? Time to implement it. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And a fair catch called for and made at the 12-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before halftime.
All that remains is to snap this once, and that'll do it for the first half of play. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting Cowboys out on top. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. This was an extremely one-sided first half. One team showed up ready to go. The other's been in a daze thus far, but there's still plenty of time left for this one to tighten up significantly. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. It'll be the Cardinals who get the ball first. They trail here as we resume action in the third quarter. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. The Cardinals ready to go here to start the third quarter. Well, they look up at the scoreboard facing that deficit. A three-score game, Charles, but look, there's plenty of time to go here. The old football cliche that comes to my mind is you can't get it all back at once. They probably need something, though, out of this drive, at least three points. Are you trying to say that there's no three-score drive on that play sheet for any one of those coordinators? They just don't have it, right? <laughs> You're trying to get it all back. You know you can't get it back in one drive, but maybe cut into it a little bit, as you just suggested. Try and create a little bit of momentum, a little bit of a spark, and then maybe that'll carry over. 46 yards rushing for him in the ball game now on 14 carries. First downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. Right back to Connor here on first. And he's across the 43 extra yards to the 43. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. On second down, Connor looking for space. And a lane slow and materializing there as he'll get maybe a yard up to the 45. It's a gain of a yard. Brings up third down and two. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. They'll stay on the ground with Connor again. And I don't think he got there. No, they stop him right where it all started. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. I apologize in advance, partner, but the beef eaters on the interior of this D-line, you just know they were licking their chops on third and short. And yes, they were rewarded with a tasty dish, stuffing that one short of a first down. Well, we got beef eaters licking their chops and tasty dish in one fell swoop. I did apologize in advance, didn't I? Yeah, you did. That line's not eating tofu, I'll tell you that much for free. And this will be taken at the 13. So possession goes over here on the punt. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 23. So the drive's gonna start with Pollard. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times defenses say, okay, we got you hemmed in. 
But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. Well, partner, I guess sometimes it's just a matter of philosophy. Some say run until they absolutely stop you, and others say, well, when you think they're about to stop you, fool them a little bit. I guess they should have tried to fool them on that play. Second down, Prescott. Got his man there complete to Gallup. Still on his feet. Michael Gallup, touchdown, Cowboys. Michael Gallup, 69 yards. As his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. Well, partner, he has carried them in this ball game, throwing the football. All four touchdowns through the air, and that's really helped them get this nice lead. And I know it's a team game, but right now, he is truly the focal point. Every touchdown his team has so far has been the result of his arm. How about him throwing it downfield, creating big plays? I don't know how you slow him down unless you can make him uncomfortable in the pocket. Extra point right down the middle, and that'll increase their lead to 28. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. The Cardinal offense here ready to take over. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here... This one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here and maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to <laughs> hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, Let's just say it's been unusual. 66 yards for him on the ground now on 18 carries. First and 10 at the 47 yard line. On first and 10, Dobbs. This is Ertz on the pitch and catch. And he'll take this from 147 yard line to the other, a gain of six. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays at that spot, 6'4", 6'5", and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. And some room to work. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Good pickup by Connor. Such an easy player to root for. And in 2022, he really been a great deal to the Cardinals offense with almost 800 yards rushing. His veteran presence, invaluable as they went through a bunch of changes on offense. On first down, Dobbs to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Connor. So the completion gets him just a yard, and that'll bring up second down. On play action, it's Dobbs. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. A gain of 18 and a new set of downs. There's a nice pickup right there, and after watching that play, I'm thinking about all the lost opportunities that they've had so far in this game. But right now, just focus on continuing to move the ball the way they did on the last play. 
They'll run here with Connor. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. James Connor taking it in from seven yards away. And the cards get a bit closer. Sometimes you get a first to go and you're back near the seven, eight, nine yard line and you start thinking, maybe we'll run it here on first down to get half of what we need so maybe we can have two or three shots at going for it from closer range. So this is a bonus right here. What a great run to work his way into the end zone. Extra point good by Prater. And that'll cut the lead back down to 21. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. Out comes CeeDee Lamb and the rest of the Dallas offense. Good day for him so far here in the third quarter. He's hit pay dirt once, over 100 yards, but... Hey, it's the third quarter. He's thinking, I want more, right? He wants more, and it just increases the confidence of his team because every play he makes, that means his quarterback is really feeling good about throwing the football. Probably feels like he can't throw an incomplete pass when he throws it to him right now. Yeah, he's looked really, really sharp. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. And yeah, they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 72 yards on the ground here for Pollard. This is a first down. Defensively, they were in the 3-4, and that O-line just dominated the D-line there. Let's go with a verbal telestrator here because that D-line has a nose over the center, and it has the two defensive ends over the offensive tackles. That means the guards don't have anyone over the top of them. That creates a natural bubble inside where they sprint upfield, take on the inside linebackers, and if the back hits it fast enough, there should be space to run. Well, partner, I don't think it's any secret that any running back wants to be able to see a hole open so they can gallop through it. But in this case, he had to slow down. There was really no hole there. And he took a big hit in order to get that one yard. He finds his man complete. It's Ferguson. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And now third down and six to go. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Now a third and six. Throwing Prescott. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete. Certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. Here's Brian Anger now as he's on to punt for Dallas. Returning it is Moore. James Conner in the Cardinal offense ready to get back to work. He's had a good performance, moved the ball effectively on the ground. Of course, he has the one touchdown. And when you're able to move it as effectively as you've described, that leads to finding a way into the end zone. And now he's just trying to do it for a second time. And of course, with that comes additional yardage. Yeah, looking for additional yardage. And again, that second score here in the third quarter. Dobbs looking to throw on first down. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. Defense certainly appears to be ready for him. Try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunks. Here's second and 10. Now Dobbs. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. 
Well, they approach this drive with a lot of confidence after their last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Dobbs is throwing. And he is caught. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That third down conversion, good for 23. And you start to think, if it's going to happen for these guys, it's got to start with this drive. Down three scores, they need to start making some inroads. And that will help the cause there as they pick up good yardage and a first down. Here's a handoff to Connor. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. Connor going to get it again on second down. And he is going to lose yardage here. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage to be found. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Back to throw. Dobbs. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. Micah Parsons, who else? He's in there for his fourth sack of the afternoon. Looks like another empty possession here, partner. And I don't think with three scores down in the third quarter, they can truly afford any more the rest of the way. No, especially the way their offense is sputtering. I, I think you're exactly right. They got to find some answers quickly. Here comes the Cardinals punter now, as he's on here to punt it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return. The offense for the Cowboys now working their way back onto the field. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 23. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And a short pickup to about the 25. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Now Prescott. Throw right side, taken in by Gallup. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. A Cowboy first down there, Prescott to Gallup. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. And that last carry puts him right at 100 yards for the game. So how has he done it? Because he's been patient, followed his blocks, let everything develop, and then burst through for big gains. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Going to run again here with Pollard. He'll get this down to the 38. I'm wondering, partner, if they might need to sub him out for a play or two because after that long run he just had on the previous play, he might not have all of his breath back. Yeah, and they went right back to that well. Different result. From the 38 now, here's second down and seven. Play action now, Prescott. 
Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. First down marker at the 31. It's third down. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals 26. So both teams trade touchdowns, and the third is worth through three quarters of play. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Prescott on first down. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Well, they're up comfortably here, Charles, but that lead certainly not dissuading them from pressing the envelope late. I mean, if anything, with these passes, it's like they're getting more aggressive to try to drive the ball downfield. And that will certainly lend itself to some post-game questions for that coach, and maybe you and I should attend that press conference and see what he has to say, because someone's going to ask him why he continued to push it. My guess, he didn't like how some of the snaps were run earlier, and he wanted to use that as a chance to clean things up, but he certainly will have some explaining to do. 116 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 16 times. As I take a look at the clock, I realize that this drive is eating up a good portion of the fourth quarter already. Got to tell you, partner, when you're trying to salt away a game, this is exactly what it's supposed to look like. From the red zone now, Prescott. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Well, fourth quarter with a three-score lead here, Charles, but they're still going back to the air and looking for more points. Well, with this game well in hand, it's an opportunity for the guys to come off the bench and get a chance to play. And a lot of coaches, they want to run their full playbook no matter who's on the field. On second down, Prescott again. Touchdown! Michael Gallup on the receiving end from Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys have opened up a four-touchdown lead here in the fourth. Well, when coaches come into a game preaching total team effort, CD, I think this is the type of ball game that they're dreaming of. It was pretty apparent early on that they were clicking in all three phases. It's, it's been fun to watch. Yeah, sometimes in the NFL, you end up with matchups like we've been watching here. And when you go back through the early drives, you can just see that one squad was on a different level in this game. Safe to say, we have been disappointed in watching their execution throughout this contest. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The football back in the hands of the Arizona Cardinals. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. To throw his Dobbs. He's got his target. That's Zach Paschal. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Out of the gun, Dobbs. His throw incomplete. Another pass attempt, another incompletion, and they're just a little over 100 yards passing here in this game, so defensively, pretty good job. Definitely, because they were never really able to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers. So a lot of credit to the defensive game plan, and especially the execution. 
Back to throw Dobbs. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. When the offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they've become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. Now Dobbs. Trying to fit it into Moore, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Noah Igbenogamy. And the Cowboys are going to take over a couple of yards shy of midfield. Another solid game-changing play for this defense with the interception. At this point, though, I don't know that it's game-changing. I mean, they've got this one in firm control. And you always hear about, you know, those stories about someone left their game plan behind and maybe you benefit from it. I'm not going to say that that happened, but they certainly have appeared on defense to be a step ahead this entire game. Guys are always in the right spot in order to make a play. The offense has had its moments, too. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 48. Lamb will go in motion. And now a fake there on the jet sweep as they'll give to Pollard. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's the second and eight. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. Give him 10 there. Good enough for a Cowboy first down. Hate to be blunt, but it is just continuing to prove to be the case that this O-line is manhandling this D-line right now. They deserve to roll up their sleeves and show up their biceps because they're doing exactly what you just described, manhandling the defensive front. They've got the leverage, they're powering through, and they're controlling this game. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. I think what we just saw there, partner, was linebacking speed that can trump O-line power. We see that at times because he filled the gap before the offensive lineman could get to the next level and take him on. On play action, Prescott. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. And that's one of the few things that has not gone right for this offense so far. They've had their share of big plays. That was nearly another. But somehow, he just couldn't squeeze it. On third down, it's Pollard. And they'll get him down at the 34, and he's going to be short of the first by a few yards. Seven yards on the carry there, but now they're staring at fourth down. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him, so when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. And the move from Mike McCarthy is going to be to keep the offense on the field here on fourth down. They're going for it. Prescott. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he is going to have the Cowboys first down, it would appear. And yes, the chain gang going to move the sticks. They take a risk on fourth and four, but they get it by a full yard. Prescott now. Oh, and that is incomplete. A CD, they're up big, but they're still passing it. I mean, this is an offense that's had a lot of success in this game, and it seems like they're just having fun out there. And it does feel like there's been a shift out there, doesn't it, partner? Listen, if you're up, you can continue to do what you want to do. It's up to the other team to make you change how you do things. They'll continue to throw it around until stopped. Prescott off play action. Touchdown, Cowboys! C.D. Lamb, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cowboys have sewn this one up as they add to their lead here in the fourth. 
Even though they've got this big advantage, Charles, they are not taking their foot off the gas pedal right now. Well, I think what we're seeing is the result of all their great preparation and great practice time during the week. And even though it seems like this is a great chance to pull people back and maybe, you know, not try and score a few more times, they don't want to do that. I think they're enjoying what they're seeing, the collective effort, and they want to play it all the way out. Extra point splits the uprights. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. That's a pretty play there coming out of the backfield. But as that back, you've got to be conscious of making sure you're securing the football. When you get out in open field, sometimes you get a little loose with it as you're trying to get up ahead of steam. Make sure you keep it close to your body because those defenders are trying to punch it free. He does a nice job there protecting the ball and picking up a first down. And that's going to be another first down. Good running for him to start the drive. This one, 11 yards. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield, a really nice pickup. Dobbs. Screen pass to Connor. And he'll lose yardage here back at the 47. It'll be a loss of two, maybe three on the play. And that'll lead here to a third down. Oh, partner, when you see a screen pass and the defensive tackle ends up making the play, you know that one wasn't sold well at all because he should be upfield by the time you throw the pass. If not, you end up with big trouble, as we just saw right there. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Connor going backwards here on the first down carry. Stopped up for a loss of a couple. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty, but when it doesn't, Oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Here's Dobbs to throw. They go screen. This is Ingram. So the screen good for only two. Now it's third down. Boy, that was certainly well-read defensively. And the key to any screen play is space to work. And there was none to be found there. And they tackle him for just a short gain. Here comes the eighth play of the drive. And they need a full 10 yards on third down. Throwing here, Dobbs. And that one too wide and incomplete. 
Sometimes it's just not your day. There's another failure right there on third down. So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary try here. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt. Everything looked good. Good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it, and this one winds up no good. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. This has really just been a lopsided affair. What a performance they put on, and now they get the football back here with a big lead in the fourth quarter. You know, in the past, we might be discussing dinner plans, talking about steak and sushi, whatever the case is, CD. This ball game is pretty much well in the books. Yeah, we really could have started bringing up dinner a long time ago if we wanted to, partner. And I think a few of the guys out in the field already making plans for the evening. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And he'll get it across midfield and down into Cardinal territory. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. From the 47, it's second and five. Pollard will take it up the gut. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. When you're trying to create space for your running back, the first thought is how physical is the offensive line? Sometimes it's just positioning. On that play, it didn't matter about positioning or being physical. The defensive front, they out leveraged them and won the battle. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Now a give here to Pollard. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Second down, Pollard again. And some room to roam now. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. 13 yards and a first down, Cowboys. Well, we're beyond the tone setting right now. This guy's been the bell cow all day, and he'll continue to rely on him to move the chains, drain the clock, and lead his team. Charles, a lot of happy fans. 